Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to understand about the PCB trace width calculation by using certain PCB design toolkit. Okay, so if you are a PCB designer or hardware designer, this video is for you only. Okay, so let us understand. So you see here, I have already open the the certain pcb design toolkit and you can see this tab this tab is conductor properties you see here and uh, now you see here let us go one by one and let us see how will you calculate the conductor width or trace width for your application right so you see here conductor characteristic you see solve for ampere solve for conductor widths I'll solve for conductor width and you also see the parallel conductor let's say you have you have your trace in top bottom layer so that means let us say you have the parallel traces you can tick it as yes but for now in my case I don't have let us say the parallel conductor I will tick it here that is no okay now you also need to understand whether you have pale plane present or not so in my case let us say i'm rooting with trace i don't have the plane so i would say here no okay now this is very important conductor width we are going to calculate the conductor width so there is a two unknown either you know either you know what is your current flowing through the conductor or you know the conductor width but most of the cases being as a hardware designer we know the current we know the conductor current but we don't know the conductor width okay so 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 here we know the conductor current and we'll calculate the conductor width okay so that i also explain here so let us go this option first this is option base copper weight let us say you have the base copper weight is 18 micron and the plating thickness is 35 micron okay okay and now you see here the units this is imperial if you tick on it it will come in mils okay i would prefer to use metric so this is metric then select the fr4 standard and this is pcb glass temperature that is tg which is fixed 130 let's say here it's uh, 130 right 130 130 now you see here the temperature rise okay let us say i have the temperature rise of 15 degree okay now you see the ambient temperature let us say i am designing for i am designing board for 85 degree c okay so my ambient is 85 right all right so let us you see here and you can also see the conductor layer let us say you have the conductor on your top and bottom layer that is if you are designing the two layer pcb you have conductor on external layer you don't have any conductor on internal layer so for this application let us let me use the the conductor layer is external and then you can there is a print button and then there is a solve button right so you can solve for it so i would prefer to solve for it okay so let us say now for conductor width 254 and this is also important guys whenever you are going to calculate the conductor width you should know how much your conductor what is the your conductor length what is the your track length what is your trace length so this is very important let us say you are you you are use routing your trace for 10 mm distance so put it on 10 mm then you see the difference here if you go and solve for it you see the difference right for for the conductor width 255 mm and the conductor length 10 mm and you see here the pcb thickness this is standard 1.57 the let us say frequency is 1 megahertz you see the difference 1.3 m let us say it was 25 let's say what is the impact 
I don't see the impact now. Uh, this is also one important parameter the conductor length while you are calculating the conductor bit I, but uh, now i'm not sure why it's not changing why it's not changing what is changing if you change the conductor length let us see here let us let us do it for 10 okay so what let me put it 10 so what is changing let us look here somewhere what is changing here so you see changing here the DC resistance and the power dissipation if you change the conductor length let us say it's a 40 right it's a 40 you see the DC power dissipation how much it's around at the moment 33 milliwatt now let us say the conductor length is 40 how much it is now you see it's a 135 mill, milliwatt so if you change the conductor length you will have more power dissipation and you will have the higher DC resistance so let us say for my application I'll be using 25 them conductor length for my application is 25 so I'll fix it okay now I'll change the conductor width so I was using 0.254 mm track now I'll use 0.5 mm track and let me calculate it okay so if you use 0.5 mm track let's say your current how much current you can have 0.5 mm thickness conductor thickness or track thickness let me put it one so solve for the for 2.7 amps current you at least use one one mm let me put it three so if your track width is three you can carry 5.3 amps current if your track width is five you can carry 7.2 amps current if your track with this chain you can carry around 10 amps current if your track with this 15 mm you can carry 30.8 amps current okay if your track with this 20 mm you can carry 16 amps that is how that is how if you know the load current of your application that is what is the current flowing through that particular track or particular trace you can use easily find the conductor conductor width also this is very important let us say here you see the temperature is 15 m 15 degree and the ambient is 85 that means you see here 85 plus 5 90 plus 100 degree that means if you want to have your temperature rise let's say 100 and 100 what is 120 so this would become 20 more that means your temperature rises more now you have given more headroom for temp temperature rise so you can solve it for this okay so if you have more headroom for the temperature rise that is your temperature rise above the ambient is 35 you can see with the same conductor bit 20 mm you can get now 25 0.6 amps current so this is very important also this is also very important how you what is your ambient temperature and what is your temperature rise so so this if you add temperature rise plus ambient that will become 120 then your pcb tease is 130 still you have a good headroom right let us say now i want to design the same for 105 degree ambient and this the temperature rise is here is 18 18 uh, sorry 15 degrees centigrade let me solve it for it now you see if you're for the same for the for the 120 degree let's say temperature rise 15 and ambient 105 you see the same conductor will give you 16.3 amps current so guys that is how that is how you can calculate the track width of your application